Hi guys, welcome to this high score solo nightfall guide of Sabbath and Song. We're doing it on the Sentinel Titan. We're doing using Code of the Protector. I'm going to be running Midnight Coup. I'm going to be running Inaugural Address, Thunderlord. No Exalted Karma for this. Um, we've got, I think we've got a 4.7 score modifier, 110 power handicap, and I'm doing Arc Singe, Heavyweight, and Momentum. We don't have a fourth. And we don't have a fourth because last time I done a Sabbath and maybe not the last time, the time before, I took a little bit of stick for putting for putting uh, extinguish in. At the time I didn't do match game, it was always extinguish. So I, as you can see, if you put extinguish on, you get a five. But I kept it as a four point seven because, well, getting past the shriekers can be uh, <laughs> fun. But using this strategy, you don't have to give up any weapon slots or put any special weapons on to get past it. This is a surefire way to get past the double shriekers without dying. So, beforehand, the reason I say give up a weapon slot is because beforehand you had to use either a grenade launcher that stunned the shriekers or I've done one on the hunter where you tether the shriekers. Titan, there was never really a surefire way to get past the Shriekers without dying. Well, there is now. So, other people have probably come up with ways as well. I'm just saying this is the first time I've found a, a way to do it. Uh, repeatable. So, in this first area, we're going to do the first kind of bit of fighting from here. From this top area. So, you've got a, a Solar Wizard. You'll have another Solar Wizard coming in, but it'll be coming in with Thrall. Here you have a set of acolytes, not too difficult to put down. You activate the door, and then I always go over to this left-hand pillar right here. And it's just, it gives you cover from the wizard, and allows you just to miss throw consistently as they're falling out the sky. The good thing about this inaugural address is the kill clip. Kill clip is very good. It really it really allows you to take out mobs pretty quickly. So they're all down. We're just going to melt this wizard. And then we're going to move over at the top of the staircase on the left. And we'll fight the rest of the adds from there. So when I if, if and when I see heavy, then I'll be a bit more liberal with my Thunderlord. But we just really, at this moment in time, we just want to take down... The two, the two knights, and we'll pick off the adds to our heart's content. So there's the second knight. And that's the second knight down. So now we'll, what we're going to do is just from here. Now I say relative safety. It's as safe as, as it can be, to be fair. But you've just got to watch out for these, these uh, acolytes. Because they can kind of creep up on you. As you can see, two managed to get down. I've seen the first one, but I didn't know where the second one was. Now, just a little thing here. You can see the exploders are now running. What you That's how you know you've took out all the ads. And if you don't really feel like going and chasing them about and finding them all, just do, do what I just done there. Take out all the ads and then come up here and they'll all run up to the doorway. So, run up to the door, activate, and you'll have four thrall here. As you can see, I've dropped some heavy. So we'll just do a little bit of sprage. Jump into this second doorway and go straight back because that activates the main door. And what I do here is I try and take out as many of the thrall with the knight as put I can. And there, that's that's that whole room cleared. And the way I've done that was I hit the first knight. I thought I killed him, but hadn't. I sprayed right across the throw and then onto the onto the ogre. And then as soon as the ogre was dead, I hit the second knight again. Now, you get what? 60 odd rounds in a clip. 64 rounds in a clip of uh, Thunderlord. One clip took out the two knights, all the throw and and the and the, the knights. So we've got the take the, they seem to be doing this quite a bit. They are switching up what you're getting on Savathan. 
just grab that heavy. Uh, so we've got the we've got a bit of fallen here. In fact, this is the fallen version. It seems to be coming quite a lot. If you turn left here and go to that open doorway behind you, there's a there's a ghost in. Just when you go into that doorway, there's <clears throat> there's kind of a door in front of you that's slightly open. So when you go in the first opening, there's an op one in front of you that's just got a little gap. That's the best way to describe it. The ghost is on the floor in between the gap. So when you go in there, the <clears throat> the doorway at the back, excuse me, the doorway at the back is slightly open, and there's a ghost on the floor just just where they open the the second kind of open doorway. Is it's a jar, so a, it's not a jar, but a jar means slightly open. <laughs> I just realised people be going in there, go, where's this jar? <laughs> So as you can see, we've got the fallen version. Now, something I was doing pretty consistently earlier on, as I say, I always do a couple of runs just to make sure what I think works what actually does work. What I was doing earlier on is I was actually, I, I'd done a run of this using the bottom tree of the striker class, and I was managing to flashbang this shrieker, but I couldn't consistently flashbang the two shriekers. So... This way works, though. You, if you want to put extinguish on, you'll see. Now, this was the most I got hit here. Out of all the runs i done, it was the most I got hit. So, it's not a big issue. I wouldn't worry about that shrieker. I'll just do what I've done. I ran behind that first pillar. Now, just, just, just a little bit about what i just done there. Once I clear the ads, <clears throat> and I take the wizard down, I run up the stairs, pick up the orb... And then I hide behind that blast pillar, the one on the right. I can safely peek out to the left. It's only a peek. Take out all the ads in front of the shrieker. And then I'll run all the way back down. And that disengages the shrieker. If you run down, back down the stairs and down a little bit. Just look on the video, see where I went. That dis You're far enough away that you disengage the shrieker. And then nine times out of ten, you can run up and the shrieker won't shoot at you. There will be that time, and I'm glad it's happened on the video, where the Shrieker says, no, nope, you're not coming anywhere near, and it will start shooting, in which case you run against the blast pillar and wait for the Shrieker to stop shooting and then quickly get in and, and slam. So this is, and this, this threw me quite a bit, because I'm not really familiar with this version of Sabbath and Song. So you come up here... There's a couple of vandals and one of those big shanks. I don't even know what they're called. Heavy shank. So you've got a couple of vandals and a heavy shank. So we'll have with two ogres. We've got one here and one is on the outside. So this is basically the Sabbath and the Anno kind of in reverse a little bit. So you've got a couple of arc shielded knights now as as you guys know i always like to switch weapons get my heavy ammo dropping but what you've also got here is you've got invisible vandals now they're the guys that are doing all that heavy cannon work i would suggest trying to just heavy them don't mess about with them because as you can see here they hit hard you know, and I was just jumping away. Now, it doesn't really show how hard they hit there, actually, because I've done, done a good job of avoiding them, but they do hit hard. So when you go outside, I was just checking to see if there was any more Marauders, the Invisible Vandals. When you go outside here, you're going to have two Shanks. Take them down, and then you're going to have, if, if it's the Fallen version, which seems to be quite, quite a lot of it, I was just slightly out of range, as you can see I'm running out of heavy, slightly out of range to do any kind of serious damage on the ogre. The ogre decided to play ball, and now we're going to melt the ogre. Now what I found here is you do get a fair bit of heavy in this between this and the next section. So as you can see, I'm switching. We've got arc shielded enemies. The, taking, the fallen captains are just the worst. And we're just trying to finish him a little bit with uh, primary. 
So we're going to have, we've had, we've had, that's the second ogre. We're going to have this void shielded uh, servitor, which will kind of protect these. I just, just caught that, oh, that vandal on my left. I didn't seem to start with. So just, that's, that's, that's why I always say be aware of your surroundings. Now, I used this plant pot thing here for cover. And I thought I I thought it was in tons of cover. I now see I've got heavy. I've got two bricks and just a little thing. You guys will have seen it. You guys will have seen it on the at the start. I not only had heavy ammo reserves. I had scavenger as well. So basically, from from what we just picked up, we got 170 rounds from two bricks, and that's because I've got scavenger on. So we're going to head to the next section. Because it's the Fallen version, we're going to have a couple of Vandals here and some Acolytes. Now the Vandals are orange bar, so I just try and get rid of the Vandals. A couple of weird things happened to me here. And I don't know if you've seen uh, the that Vandals impression of Usain Bolt. It's just kind of strange. And I kind of messed up here because... The last time I'd done it, the I was just expecting both of the those uh, acolytes, the elites, to be just round the corner there, and, and they weren't. So, we're back up to full complement. The wizard does a weird thing here as well, where I start shooting the wizard, and basically it tries to slide away. <laughs> and it doesn't work very well for the wizard, but it, it's just... They never happened in the other runs, so as you can see, I've shot them. It took a little bit. Now, I thought it was my connection, and it, I checked my connection afterwards as soon as the strike was done, and I was good. And then the wizard just appears right in front of me. So, it did look to me like my connection was a little bit iffy, but it wasn't. And as you, you, you'll, you'll see... Nothing else like that happens in the whole strike. I don't know if it's because it is this version of the strike that it's kind of... I don't know. Maybe the game's just not used to having this as a nightfall. I'm not sure how the nightfall thing works. How how the setup or the network requirements or the server requirements work when it's when they change this. I, I wouldn't think it, it would require anything special because it's in the game, but... The Nightfall does operate, obviously, a little bit differently to a normal strike. So, the other cool thing about this subclass is the Overshield. And literally, that's <laughs> that's the first time I've used that in this strike. But, again, let you into a little secret. That was the first time I realised that, that I actually had an Overshield. So... So as I say, we're in the Fallen version, so you've got a ton of these guys. So what I do when I get here is I just try and clear out, make sure there's nothing else there, clear out all the ads, because once we pick this orb up, we're going to get the next wave of ads. We've, we've got full complement of heavy, and this is where the surefire way to make it past here happens. So we've got our super. I haven't used the super because the super's okay. I mean, the super is quite good, uh, but we, we've got it for one reason, and I think you guys probably know the reason I've got it is, is for the the bubble. We want the bubble. We, that will help us majorly. So luckily, I got my overshield there. And we'll shoot this exploding tank, which should just about kill this marauder. Pick up our orb, get our health back, move to the next pillar. And clear out. There's a couple. There's two shielded captains. I want to clear them out. Now the where is the the fallen version? It can be a little bit bit of a pain in the backside. The one thing it does do is it gives you the ability to clear the ads because the ads are fallen. They are actually against the shriekers. The shriekers will will want will, will leave you alone. So we're trying, we know that there's an invisible around here somewhere. So we want to take this invisible out. There he is. 
and the, both of them are. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a bit of a run. Run up the side here, jump, melee, and then to 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 do that, you're going to jump. You're going to use the the orbs melee to put you in the direction to be in front of that panel. And as you, as soon as you start to go towards the front of it, hold down your super button. You've got to hold it, and that's how you get the bubble. If you just press it, you'll be standing Captain America esque with a with a shield. So you have to hold the super, and it will just drop a bubble right over it, and you're clear. So as you can see, surefire way of getting getting through this without dying. Because the double shriekers is the part where everybody used to accept that it was a death. Now, you're going to notice here, we want to kill this wizard. And there's a reason for this. Because it, it must just be something that's happened recently. Because from my recollections, it never used to happen. But if you run past all of this, or maybe it did and I just didn't notice it to be fair. It has been a while since I've done Savathun. That wizard, although the door will close, once you once you shoot the crystal, the door will close. Now, and like I say, it probably did happen, I probably just didn't notice it. The wizard now will just appear inside this room, and because it's arc, the last thing you want is to be dealing with a rogue wizard shooting you while you're trying to do your thing against Sabathon. So we're going to kill all these exploders, and then we're going to take that knight down, which... It, pro it didn't prove to be as easy as I thought it would be because I and, and it didn't prove to be so easy because I was trying to save heavy ammo which was stupid of me so take down this wizard and then what we're going to do is we're going to get up top I thought a couple of shots here would have killed this wizard but wizard had other ideas so I'm just trying to Finish the wizard off with with primary just to get some heavy. And we did get heavy. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get we're gonna get our health back. And then we're gonna get on top of one of these pillars. This one right here. Put down our rally barricade. And then we're gonna basically make Savathan go two phases really quick. And get the melt on while she's gone. So we'll, we're in good position to get, get her here. And then she'll move. And we're in good position to get her here. And the reason why we came up top. Was because you're going to get a heap of thrall. And the thrall kind of know they can't get you up there. So they don't even try. So we're, we've, got the, we've got the first wave of ads. Which it is the first wave. But for the purposes of this run, it will be the only wave of ads. We will kill Savathan in the next section. Put down a suppressor, see if I can get some kills. Because the thing about this section, if you're doing it like this, nothing else will happen until you kill both of those shielded knights. They are the trigger. Both shielded knights need to be killed. So you can kill one which I would suggest killing the one on the right because that's the one that's got the, you know, the bead on you. Get my overshield. And then you can pick off the rest of the ads. Now we've got an ad here on the right, which I didn't didn't really pay too much attention to. I should have because he, was throwing, he started throwing solar bombs at me. And we'll just take out these ads. I think this is where I start getting solar bombs thrown at me. And so all we've got left now, really, is the ads that were attacking us. There he is. And the knight. So what we're going to do is we're going to get into position to finish Savathan. So we're all good. This is where we're going to go, right on here. So we'll get behind it. We're going to jump up, rally barricade, kill the knight. Rally Barricade will offer us a little bit of protection. And then get Meltage. Try and get constant crits if you can. Switch and finish Sabbath in there. And there you go, guys. It's not the highest score I've ever done, but this is Sabbath. It's a long-ass strike. 
thank you for watching the video. Your viewership is always appreciated. Thank you to everybody that thanked me and my partner uh, on the birth of our child on Twitter uh, and and on 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 Facebook and on obviously on the channel. He's he's healthy uh, and he thanks you as much as I do. So guys, take it easy and I'll see you in the next one.